I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. It is so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us by His grace. He is a good, He is a gracious, He is a merciful Father and He loves you. I tell you, my dear friend, in all that you might be facing, there is someone that you can put your trust in and His name is Jesus and He will surely deliver you. He will set you free and he'll take you to a greater glory. You can believe and trust in him and he will see you through. You can believe and trust in him, even in the darkest times, and you will have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. Today I want to talk to you and the title of my message is, Do Not Fear Because You Will Make It. Now I want to take my reading quickly from the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. It says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let's read that one more time and let's break it down. It says, so do not fear. The first thing that God is telling us through this word is we should not fear, regardless of the times. In this time, in this period, in the last year, there's been enough evidence and a lot of things happening that can cause people to fear. But I want to encourage you, my dear friend, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, it says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Why shouldn't you fear? Because God is with you. God's presence is with you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 23, it says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Do not fear, for God is with you. It says, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. So even in this time period, my dear friend, do not be discouraged. Do not set down the vision and the purpose that God has given you, but continue going with it. Continue running, continue pushing. Do not give up on that dream. Do not give up on that purpose. Do not give up on that destiny. The Bible says, I will strengthen you. God will strengthen you and he will help you. Even in this time period, be encouraged and keep on going. Say this with me. Say, God will strengthen me and he will be with me. It goes on and it says, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God will uphold you with his righteous right hand that cannot be failed. The right hand of God is power. Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. He will uphold you. God will uphold you through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Through the grace that is available in Christ and the spirit of the living God, God will uphold you and he will preserve you and you will surely make it through. It is only by his grace it is only by His mercy that we can go on. It is only by His grace, it is only by His mercy that we can continue going and that we can make it through. And I tell you, my dear friend, God will see you through. God will deliver you and He will see you through. Regardless of how it may look, know and understand and believe that you will make it through on the other side and you will come out shining. Our God is good and our God is gracious. And if we put our trust in Him, we will see His deliverance working power. So in saying that, my dear friend, take yourself on your device wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down. And God will touch and He'll change your life forever. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to praise Him. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. We glorify Your holy name. We magnify Your holy name. We lift up Your holy name. You alone are worthy, you alone are holy, you alone deserve the glory. We praise you and we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We praise you and we thank you for your love that never runs out. We praise you and we thank you that you are with my dear friend who is watching this video. And you are delivering my dear friend and taking my dear friend up to a greater glory and a greater altitude. We give you praise and thank you that even today you are doing something great, something amazing, something wonderful. And you are touching and changing my dear friend's life because of your deliverance working power that is available in Christ to all who believe. My dear friend shall be set free and my dear friend shall go from glory to greater glory. We give you praise and thank you for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for your presence, Father. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray today, God is going to bless you. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray. As we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do three things. 
The first and the most important is just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud and mean it with all of your heart. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and touch me today. Heal me, refresh me, and help me not to fear. Help me to be bold and courageous. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement, and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on Daily Prayer List. Fill in your prayer request, click Submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. No matter what my dear friend's situation may look, give my dear friend the grace that my dear friend will not fear. Lord, no matter how it looks, we know and we trust from your word that there is nothing to fear. There is nothing to worry about. My dear friend will be delivered and set free by your righteous and your mighty right hand. We give you praise and thank you for your deliverance working power. We give you praise and thank you for deliverance that is taking place right now in my dear friend's life. We give you praise and thank you for a change that you're bringing, a change for the better. Touch, heal, change, deliver and set free my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is trusting you, for a mighty, mighty, mighty deliverance. Let a mighty deliverance take place. Wherever my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle, a sign or a wonder, let it take place. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. We pray this in Jesus' name and we thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God open doors of blessing and take you up, even in this time period, in Jesus' name. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.